This one's a fun technique. Usually we focus on joints like the elbow and the wrist and the arm to move our partners. This one here, you go straight in.
the song goes like this. And you go.
That was called Usui. The next song we're going to play is called uh, Enjo. It was composed by myself and Maki Takahashi. Enjo literally can be able to go up and play. And uh, it's a very strong piece that requires a lot of abdominal uh, strength. You can really see that in the backwards as you're playing. And the, play. and the uh, two of the drummers are going to be on this tall drum, the full leg with a large drum, which requires a lot of upper body strength. Um, once again, we're Nagata Shachu. And uh, all the costumes you see are from Japan. This is called a Hapui, Hapui coat. And this has a group named Nagata, which is my last name, and Shachu, which is kind of an old kind of way of saying it. Uh, basically. We also have these high pitched drums, they're called the Shimei Nai. for you guys. Those are all our kids. Say hi kids. They're shy. They're actually where you guys a lot of you guys here. It's cool. I like making them nervous. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do, the kids are gonna demonstrate to you guys some of our basic motions and basic techniques. Unlike other martial arts in Aikido we only have four, well six, but four basic motions and these guys are gonna demonstrate those to you right now. Kids, guys, This is called Tanuhe Koichi. It 
teaches you how to move your hips around your partner. So you have to use no muscles to throw your partner down. This is used for when someone's pushing at you. In Aikido, we don't fight, we don't push back, we just move out of the way. So this technique is called Gyakuzuki Makiage. It's a continuous technique. So it's a lot of fun because you start nice and slow, easy strikes, focusing on your form, and by the end of it, you and your partner are usually so into the technique, it starts to get faster. You start to hit harder, move faster, spin, and these girls are amazing. The most fun thing about the weapons in Aikido for me is that we don't actually use those to learn how to use the sticks. It's not about hitting people. Okay, so now you guys are gonna get to watch me do something. Yay! These guys, I pick them not just because I have great Aikido, but they know how to fall. It's really important what we do. It's hard to take a fall if you don't know what you're doing, and it really hurts. When we do this, we want our partners to come back next week. So, they're really, really good as a person, actually. So, uh, now you're gonna get to see him beat me up. Yay! Uh, thank you very much. So Maurizio uh, Sensei, uh, like you said, is in charge. He's the chief instructor at our dojo for all the youth programs. And he put all of this together and I think he deserves a round of applause and lots of work. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I, I know Maurizio Sensei mentioned this. It's, it's, Aikido is a bit different than other martial arts. We train cooperatively. So we're not there fighting each other and resisting. We work together to perfect techniques. Once it's perfected, or once it's pretty good, then it doesn't matter if someone resists, it's actually easier to, to lock someone up and unbalance them when they're stiff and resisting. But in Thank <laughs> you. 
so, so proud of you. Awesome. Hey. Awesome. Thank you once again. Have a good day, guys. For Aikido Dojo from Mississauga, everybody. That was pretty hard for the guy was third winner, first Japanese born indie winner in history here with us around two o'clock. His car is back there at the NTN booth. Yes. Yeah, so yes. that's gonna be great. Yeah, I walked by past it and it looks really good. So take your chance, go. Okay, you gotta come up and make some noise. Come Mr. DJ B Loud. We got Mr. DJ B Loud over here. He's from Japan. He's our house DJ. He's playing all day and night. And he was here yesterday too, so give it up for B Loud. You have to look at me to catch it, alright? Ready?
Yeah.